Okay, right now, though, let's look at education. The National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, is demanding investigations into several requests by teachers for adjustments to be made on their days of birth. The Ghana Education Service is reported to have received over 800 requests to change birthdays to either increase or reduce ages. President of the NAGRAT, Christian Adaipoku, says the association is prepared to dialogue with the education service over the matter. He was speaking at the commissioning of a new office complex for the association in Accra on Wednesday. We are not changing our stance. I think um, the minister has had some information, but not in detail. What we try to tell him today is that yes we know there are some people who are very close to retirement they are threatened by the retirement and therefore they want to change their date of birth so that they can elongate their stay in the service but there are many many people out there who genuinely have been um, i mean their, their date of birth have been wrongly imputed in the system of Ghana Education Service. The process is that the teachers normally fill a hard copy of the um, appointment or application forms. It is for the Ghana Education Service staff to do the input into the system. In the course of doing that, they, 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 they make a lot of mistakes. And these are the people we are saying that they genuinely have a case and they, their case must be investigated. And so we are ready to sit down with them and give them proofs. We, can, we have a lot of proof to show them that really these things exist. And it's not that everybody in that 800 who is struggling. I think we, we, we plan to do a lot of education on this matter because the first thing is everybody must come out. It must be once and for all exercise that we will not come back to. So we will dialogue with them, find a strategy of educating every teacher to go onto the system and check from the platform his real date of birth. If you have issues with your date of birth, you need to give, provide proof. And the GES has set, a, um, they set up criteria for being able to prove. You should be able to provide documents from your basic education, I mean, primary school, cumulative records and uh, admission register, secondary school records, if you have university records, and all those documents must be provided that indicate your date of birth, and that will help them to accept or reject your application. Christian Adaipoku is president of NAGRAT. While commending NAGRAT's efforts towards the office complex, Minister for Education Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe attributed frustrations over teacher promotions and allowances to the new biometric registration system. He was quick to add, however, that those issues are being dealt with. I don't know how an IRS can have a policy. <laughs> an IRS is a debt that you owe that you have to pay. I don't know how you do a policy around it. <laughs> But I have heard that there's a three-month policy. And I have come to ask, and the Minister of Finance has assured the unions and myself in the budget that not only the validation has to be brought to our end so that we can move on, this whole three-month pay policy that Nagat so deserves to be off doesn't happen to have found itself in any government policy document. It is... It is and, I can state it, it's just like an abreaction of the validation and co. Cool but if validation has come about, then we should also examine, like we are, and I must say, uh, NACRAT and NAT and CCT are partners in the welfare of teachers. If teachers themselves who have been promoted are contributing so much to teacher disturbance, we have to have a look at it. The biggest concern of teachers is this biometric registration. Just two days ago in Kumasi, I went to have a meeting. And I was accosted by some young teachers all the way from Kushegu. I don't know how they got to know that I was where I was at that time of the day. But they came with their pay slips, and it was so bad that a teacher who has been promoted to become a sub... Do you they call them second supervisors? They call them second supervisors. I didn't know who are handling the IPPD biometric registration so that the young teachers will get paid are the ones who are frustrating the system. And these are the same persons who are frustrating promotions and allowances. We have to find a way to deal with it as concerned members of our own welfare. And uh, we will have to deal with it. Today, I came to congratulate Nagrat for the wonderful ed edifice. Nagrat, Nagrat. Mr. Chairman, 
I must commend Nagra for putting up this magnificent building that we are inaugurating. The building speaks for itself the excellence that God is pursuing. It is my expectation that this structure will greatly enhance the output for members of the nation. Use it to the fullest and let posterity bear testimony to your efforts and noble vision. I wish you the best.